Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany, your independent Scentsy consultant from Ontario, Canada. And today we are doing our empties, or my, my empties video, because we're a little full. Um, it started to overflow. I figured it was time and we are long overdue. So we have a lot to get through today. As I said, it is a little overflowing. I'm just going to dig in here and get the non-wax items out of the way first. Get some fragrance flowers in here. All right, that seems to be all of that. Okay. So first things first, I got through a Christmas cottage um, scent circle, or sorry, a scent pack. I actually have, I didn't get through it, I started it, um, I have it hanging down in my office area right at my desk where I've been working. Um, I have another business on the side as well as my full time job. I make crafts um, and then I sell them. So with Christmas time coming, I've started making my Christmas ornaments and so that I'm down there most evenings working on orders for people. So it's really nice. I mean, I normally have my, I have two warmers down there. I have a large warmer and a mini warmer um, going, but I get the, this whiff of Christmas cottage and I love Christmas cottage. It's just such a nice scent. Um, as I'm working away down there. So it's uh, very, very nice. I got through a bottle of Sunkiss Citrus Counter Clean. Um, I think I have, I'm looking, the Cider Mill Counter Clean and Dish Soap. Dish Soap on the go right now. So that is that. And I got through a Squeeze the Day dish soap and I very much enjoyed this it's a really really nice scent um I think in my past video I had the squeeze a day counter clean that I, I got through and it's a it's a little sweet but I just I love it um it's not so like chemical lemon it's like the sweet lemonade scent um when I'm cleaning and I got through two fragrance flowers so i'm not sure if you can tell on the video but like this one and this one so this one is a lot lighter looking the petals on it where this one is still kind of like a yellowish tinge because this one <laughs> i have had going since I want to say either the end of May or beginning of June and we are now well into October and so like it's pretty much dried up but I can still smell it like even <laughs> even the string on the bottom I don't know if you can see that is like dry but the petals still smell so good so this was actually my very first fragrance flower I ever purchased um I got it when I became a consultant, I don't remember if it came with my kit. Maybe it came with my kit. I'm not sure. But this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one is aloe water and cucumber. And I love the performance of the aloe water and cucumber fragrance flower. I found that um, it works very well and it lasted a long time. Mind you, it has been dry for a little while, but... I want to say I didn't notice the scent probably mm, a month ago, maybe. Mm, I don't know, three weeks ago. It's hard to tell, but it, I can still smell it. I still love it. Ah, I love it. And so this, this is like kind of like happy and sad moment for me at the same time because this was my very first fragrance flower. And it actually made me fall in love with fragrance flowers because I put this in my bathroom and it was the perfect amount of scent in there. I love it. Oh, love it. So in this one is, um, <coughs> excuse me, Amazon Rain, I believe. Amazon Rain, it was okay. 
Um, I didn't find that it was as, as good as a performer as um, the aloe water and cucumber, but it was still nice. Uh, I believe I had this one out near my front entrance. I have probably three or four fragrance flowers on the go at all times right now. So I think I have a Go Go Mango on the go in my bathroom. Um, a Christmas cottage on the go near my front hall, like in my front doorway. I'm trying to remember what the other one is. There is a pink cotton, I think. So you'll you'll see more of these because I, I love these. Um, and they make the perfect little present. Like it's just so beautiful. So that is my my fragrance flower tangent. All right. So let's get into the wax we have a lot of it to get through so i may end up finding doubles i don't know so i got through two bars of pumpkin chai so this one was part of the harvest gorgeous um pumpkin collection mm, i love it i love 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 it i actually don't like chai in drink form but or pumpkin <laughs> but i did enjoy the smell of it so, pumpkin chai, sticking with the theme of the gorgeous uh, collection, we have Bright Cider Life. I love this one too. Mm, love it. Um, I'm really bummed out that I missed the boat on buying more pods of it because I have my Scentsy Go and my um, wall fan diffuser, but that's all right. I do have it in wax form. I did put this in my club, so I will be able to enjoy it for a while. And I don't know if I warmed the other one. I think it was pumpkin tiramisu. Oh, I did. I figured I did. So, and the third one from that collection is pumpkin tiramisu. I have to say out of all of them, this one is probably my least favorite, although I still do enjoy um, warming it. I'm definitely warming all things fall right now. Um, it's starting to get chilly where I am. I think snow was in the forecast for us the other day, but luckily it did not snow. I just wanted to wait till at least, you know, like middle of November. My birthday is the beginning of November and it's always so darn cold for my birthday so I just want it to be not snowy and winter and gloomy because I don't um like the winter I tend to hibernate in the winter so that was pumpkin tiramisu I warmed through my last I think it was two cubes of uh just for you so when the new um releases for the the Fall and Winter Catalog came out. I ordered a bar of all of them to try them out. So that way I could share with you guys my thoughts on them. Um, this one, for a green scent, I don't mind it. Um, it's like a sweet tree scent. Uh, I think I warmed this in my bathroom just to use it up. I will not be repurchasing this one because, like I said, it's a green scent. And I'm not a big fan of um, our green notes, but it was, I was pleasantly surprised with it and I did enjoy it while it was warming. I warmed through a bar of cinnamon bear. I went through a low last week where I was just warming all things cinnamon. Mm. And this is one of them. This is just pure red hot cinnamon if you like cinnamon and it to be in your face cinnamon this is for you cinnamon bear i went through disney dumbo circus parade hmm. i actually have this one warming right now because other than the sun coming out right this second it has been pretty doomy and gloomy around here weather wise and I just needed to pick me up of like sunshine and this smells like sunshine to me. It is such a happy, beautiful, sweet, creamy, um, like, uh, 
what is it? Clementine and vanilla. And it's just so nice. I love it. And it is a great, great, great performer. I find a lot of the Disney scents are kind of hit or miss with um, performance and, and lasting very long. But this is a great performer. And I'm on day two right now of warming it. And I can still smell it in my open concept of all places. So, um, Speaking of Disney, I went through a hundred acre wood. I tend to warm this one upstairs in my bedroom and in my um, upstairs bathroom. This is such a calming, mm, nice, beautiful scent. It's If you have kids and you want to have warmers in their rooms, this is a really good one where it's not um, too crazy strong. It's very light. But it just has this calming effect. I don't know. I just love um, warming it, because, especially in my bedroom, because it's just so pretty. Like, it's just so nice. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I got through a bar of my Pacific Sandalwood from the International Wax Collection. I did have this one in my club. As much as I do enjoy it, I've just found it was too light to keep it in my club and to keep getting it. I still do have a few bars on hand, so I will be able to enjoy it for a little while. Um, but I believe I did remove this from my club. It's just a really, really pretty perfumey type scent. Um, but it is very light. Next, I have Find Your Happy Taste of Summer. I've also recently taken this one out of my club. Just because, I don't know if maybe it's because of the, the change in the weather and I'm all about everything cinnamon and fall. Um, I just find this one's too strong now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think before I didn't really notice so much the tea scent. And I mean, I love iced tea and maybe that's what made me fall in love with the scent. But it is very, very tea note heavy not I mean you can definitely smell lemon with it too but it's it's it smells like iced tea it smells like homemade iced tea not even like the iced tea you would buy at a store it was really nice it's just not what I'm reaching for nowadays so I don't want to continue to buy it and then end up like not warming through it so that is fine you're happy next we have a Christmas cottage this is such a pretty cinnamon sweet berry type scent to me. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's berries in it. I smell berries though. Mm. Cozy inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, clove and spices. Okay. I do smell the raspberries. And for spices, for me, I just smell cinnamon. But I mean, I like that. But I smell, I smell like a sweet cinnamon berries and I very much enjoy Christmas Cottage. Um, next we got through Snow Kiss Cranberry. This one was nice, but it's very, very light for me. Um, it's not, I guess, not what I was expecting it to be. What was the note on this one? Snow Kiss Cranberries. Frozen pink cranberries trek through fresh fallen powder, white balsam, and glistening sugared woods. Mmm. It's, I, I, I don't even think it's cranberry that I necessarily smell. It's just like a berry to me. Cranberry tends to be more tart. This is like a sweetness to it. I mean, it's nice, but it's um, definitely lighter then, excuse me, then I thought it would be. Um, I do enjoy it though. So that was that one. I got through a part of my sugared strawberry. I have this one in my club. I just love it so much. It's a very, very, very good performer. Um, it does well in my open concept. It's just a sweet sugared strawberry scent and it's beautiful. Next was a Cozy Cardigan. 
This one I warmed upstairs in my um, spare bedroom and I believe I warmed it in my bedroom one or two days and this one is just so nice it again is a very feminine perfumey type scent but not like crazy strong perfume it's like the perfect balance of it um i do believe i bought this in a body wash that i will be starting soon so i am excited to try that and i have used the cozy cardigan um scentsy soak and it's very very nice as well so cozy cardigan I got through a bar of apple and oats. This is another a new release. I like this one. I find the performance of this is amazing when you first start warming it and then it, it just dies out of nowhere. All of a sudden you don't smell it anymore at all. Um, so that's the only thing I do not like about this because it's just so strong when it first starts like I had this in my open concept I warmed a full bar of this once I don't know if this was yeah okay so I warmed a full bar of this uh once and it was just too, it was too much way too much so this time around I actually had um apple and cinnamon sticks going with apple and oats in alternate warmers um, to kind of like bring that strongness down and it worked but I want to say by the end of the day I didn't even smell this by the end of the first day I didn't smell this one anymore I did continue to smell this one but I didn't smell um, apple and oats so that's that's kind of the crappy part but when it is performing um, it smells so nice and it makes your house smell like you were just baking when you weren't just baking. So that's always a plus. Um, so yeah, I got through a bar of apple and cinnamon sticks. I absolutely love this scent. I will be, you'll be seeing a lot of it in my upcoming empties because I do tend to warm that one quite a bit. I got through... My bar of Sunrise with Friends, also from Find Your Happy Collection. I just wanted to use this up. Um, this one was like a masculine scent to it. I found it was um, like an orange. It was like an orange wax. This smells like driftwood and like men's cologne. I warmed this in my basement. Um, it was okay. It definitely wasn't my favorite, but um, yeah. So I finished that bar up. I do not have any more of that one, I don't think. I finished a bar, or I think the only bar actually, of Lucky Star Fruit from the International Wax Collection. I was not a fan of this one. Warming it smelled a little bit better, but on cold, I just didn't like it very much. Um, but sometimes you like them, sometimes you don't. I mean, it's not that it's bad. It's just not my type of like fruity scent. It almost smells like fruit and soap together. I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. I don't remember what the scent notes were for it, but that was that one. I got through a bar of my pink haze. This was from the recent spring summer bring back my bar. Mm, I absolutely love this one. This is one of my husband's favorite scents for me to warm upstairs in our bedroom. He loves this scent as well. Um, I do have this in my club. I will have to be doing a club edit very soon. I've actually never videotaped a club at it. Um, I probably won't. I know that there's a lot of consultants out there that do. Um, because I get my Scentsy Club monthly right now, which I may end up changing. I don't know. I have some thinking to do. But um, I feel like a club edit is really not necessary for me. If you want to see a club edit, you can let me know in the comments below and then maybe um, I'll do one for you guys. If not, I will just continue to keep sharing my club haul monthly with you guys. 
Um, yeah, because with all of the new bars that have come out, the holiday collection, the villain collection just launched. Um, we have an NHL bar. We have um, a Monsters Inc. bar. All of these new bars that are coming, I've recently put them all in my club. I put some orders in for them, but I put them all in my club to test them out and see which ones I like. So I, I do have to go through and kind of clean things up a bit because it's a little out of control. So we have a winterberry apple tea. Mm, love this one so much. Very, very good performer. It's a very good scent to also warm throughout the entire year. Um, what does it say? Winterberry apple tea. Winter tea cozies up to cranberry apple and honey. So it's just really, really nice. And you don't, I don't get a tea note at all in it, but the, the cranberry, the apple, and the honey just are a perfect combination, and it's very, very nice. Um, next, we have Dancing Sugar Plums. I very much enjoyed this, um, more than I thought I would, because uh, smelling it on cold... It does no justice. You know when you take a picture of something and it's not the same as seeing it in person? That is this. Um, this smells 10 times better warming than it does on cold. Um, so I've actually made a few more purchases of this bar because I enjoyed it so much. I have actually been like, this is the bar I ordered when they first got released. So I've been holding on to this one for a while. And uh, I'm glad I finally warmed it and got through it because um, I do very much enjoy it. It's a very, very nice scent. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we have Around the Campfire. Um, I like this scent very, very much. I think I recently ordered a bar of it. But it's just not a scent that I would constantly warm in my home. Um, it's definitely unique. I like the smokiness of it and the sweet smokiness of it too. It's not even just like a smoke. It's a sweetness to it. It is definitely unique and that's why I am making a purchase of another bar or two of it to have on hand because it's just one of those scents that you just want to change one day and this would be the perfect one to kind of just like, I don't know if it's like cleanse your palate type thing. Um, where some people use like the lemon type scents to like clean their house out of any other scents that they had going. This would be a good one, I think, to to do the same, um, get like the smokiness of it and then like put something like fresh and fruity in um, after that. That's what I think. I don't know. I may try that one day, but um, it's definitely a unique scent and it is growing on me from the first time I smelled it because, you know, I was... Why do I want my house to smell like it's burning? But it just reminds me of like if I had a fireplace going and and that's a lovely, lovely scent. I wish I had a fireplace. Um, all right, and our last bar is Autumn Hearth. This is a new love of mine. Um, I think this is the first bar I purchased of it and I absolutely love this scent. It was a great performer. I believe I had it going in my open concept area and it, I think it lasted like a good three days before I changed it out. And I think even when I changed it out, there was still a slight scent to it. So it is a great performer and long lasting. So that is the wax. Oh, and I went through my tester of um, walnut raisin muffin. Normally I give these out, but, um, I think the lid had popped off or something, so I figured, well, I might as well use it. I think I used this down in my office area because I wanted to see how it performed down there. It performs very, very well, so um, because I find this is such a light sun, it does not perform well in my open concept area. I'm not going to warm this in my bathroom, so I wanted to find a good area to warm it, and it did work well down there and last but not least we have pods so i went through eskimo kiss in the pods it's 
still smell a little, not much, but it's hard because Eskimo Kiss, it's such a light scent. Um, I probably won't purchase this again in the pods just because I barely noticed it at all. Um, I had it going in my Scentsy Go and I normally put, I normally bring my Scentsy Go wherever I go. Um, so if I'm sitting on the couch, I'll have it on the table next to me so I can smell whatever beautiful scent is in it. Um, and I, I barely noticed it. So that's just me. And in replace of it, I have, of course, Christmas Cottage going. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't remember if I put Christmas Cottage in the Scentsy Go or if I put it in my wall fan diffuser. Either way, love it. So that is what went in its place. So we got through it all. Thank you so much for spending the last 25, almost 26 minutes with me um, going through my empties. Again, I do apologize for being MIA. Um, unfortunately, life happens. We get sick and then we have a lot of catching up to do. So if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.